uh, go ahead, introduce yourselves, go in a row, and what you do in the band. Mylon. I'm not going to remember. Mylon and I play the bass. It's Angel, vocals. My name's Nick, I play guitar. It's Carrie, I play guitar. My name is Shark, I play the drums. My name is Michael, I play the guitar. Okay, you're spinning around for a while. And then you guys kind of disappeared off of the basement. So, what happened? Tell us about that. Which time? <laughs> <laughs> Well, it seems like you are now back in full force, but it's, it's been quite a few years. So, um, I mean, it's, what happened? Just some people, including myself, made some stupid decisions, and um, it was the best decision at that time was probably to, to just kind of get our heads together and go the separate ways and figure out life. And obviously, I'm mean, figuring out that hard life sucks without each other. It's time to come back together. So did you guys like officially break up and yeah. then come back? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we basically had a few blow out the, on the eve of the Mushroom Head tour, so the national tour that we were in our tour. But you know what? Like at the time, I don't think that uh, the lineup <clears throat> or our heads were right, and so we had to kind of go away from each other and do our own things. And like you said, you know. I gave Angel a call uh, on Father's Day. <laughs> kind of patched it up. Okay, so this is now Motor Grader round two. Three. Three. Oh. Or four, round three. Or four, four or five. Or five. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now you guys um, seem like the, recently, the, at least in the past year, you guys have started touring again. And I mean, well, a little bit, a few shows here and there. What's going on? You. That's your question. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Motor Grader has played a show in two years. Three right? and a half, almost three, actually. And this is our uh, first tour back. Yeah. yeah. So, it's going good. The, re the reason why that tour is happening okay. is because of me. Because of you? It's all me. It's all because of you. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, Tell the story. Oh. There's a story. What story am I telling? How you joined Motor <clears throat> Uh Well, like many of us, I have been a huge fan of Motor Grader for a very long time. I saw them at OzFest in Dallas, Texas in 2003. It blew my mind, my little young metalhead mind, and um, it made me want to do music. Uh, just like when I saw Pantera, like I idolized Motor Grader, I idolized a lot of bands. But um, I sent them a message and I said, hire me to play drums. And they said, send me some of your stuff. So I sent them some videos of me playing and all that. Uh, I was in a band before this called The Browning, and we toured all over the world and did all that stuff. But uh, I quit, and now I'm in Motor How recently did that happen? Uh, like a couple months ago. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Brand new drummer from Motor Grader. I flew here from Missouri, and we rehearsed for a few days, and then we came out here on the road, and now we're tearing people a new one every night. Okay. <laughs> So now that you guys are back doing shows, um, are you guys going to do a new Motivator album? There's no way it's not going to happen. I mean, it kind of has to. It's been a long time. <clears throat> well, uh, Nuke and I talked about this before we even started cleaning the line. Even before we was thought of it being a line. It was just a reach out. You know, they, uh, not a reach around, but a reach out. And, <laughs> and said, uh, you know, hey, dude, I just miss you. And we, we we started from a very pure spot on the rebuild, and then it, it became, like, I just straight up asked him, I said, so what's up? Are we going to do the second album or what? And he was like, dude, you just fucking blew my mind. I wasn't even thinking about that. Like, And it just built from there, and I told him, dude, like, if this is going to happen, and he absolutely agrees, it's got to be, we go out this time, do the two songs, the music video, and and we shop for some bigger tours to jump on real quick and, and get this material out this year. This album's going to happen this year. Yeah, because, I mean, fans are happy to see you back. They love the old songs, but eventually, yeah, we're, you know, going to expect well, something. I think, I, I think we're like going to be in a position to where, you know, we can do the old songs, but a lot of people are fans, you know, of... 2009 lineup, the 2011 lineup, and and I, I know they're itching to hear new material, and we're lucky enough to be uh, able to, you know, hopefully do that in the near future. So, I mean, we're all.
Yeah. All right, well, let's um, let's talk about your tattoos. Um, go ahead, um, let's just go on a line here. Well, you don't have any tattoos. Absolutely not, not one. Ugh, sorry. Okay. So, I guess we won't make you undress. Fair warning. Just, no, he can tell about my tattoo. He can tell it? Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, absolutely, you should, because you don't have any, and he, dude, it's obvious he's not going to be able to. I, I mean, I'd rather just skip that, because I don't want to do that, you know? Will you please? Well... Well, right. He's asking you. His right. tattoo is a symbol for his ex, God bless her soul, who passed away uh, years ago. Uh, I guess not his ex, but you know, she'll always be with him. And uh, her name is Sarah. And uh, yeah, for her. And her cat. And their cat. cat. Oh, yeah. And, and her cat. cat. And a children. Huh. So yeah. Okay. So we, let's we missed through. one. We missed one. I have a new one, so you're gonna get on that. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead and um, show them off. Tell us. Uh, tell us so, uh, uh, who did your work. And... Well, um, all of this whole arm and uh, my leg piece was done by <clears throat> my friend Santi of Unforsaken. Uh, the shop closed down, but he actually just came out and saw us in, in Vegas. You know, Santi, what's up? You know, he did. So Santi, he doesn't have a shop anymore. Uh, he's working at a shop uh, in Vegas. I, unfortunately, it's so new. I don't. I don't know the name of it. But okay. uh, yeah. So I mean, he has a lot of work to finish. But um, so he did that. He did your motivator. Yeah. So we'll start with the leg. I mean, he did the motivator. I wanted to commemorate me replacing Ivan Moody and uh, and make it new. So I put "We Are the New Breed" around it. Um, and then my mm -hmm. second motivator tattoo is my inner demon kind of uh, alter ego coming out and it's just whenever you can see him he's trying to come out whenever you can't I've, I've become him and uh and then ian and kyle and those are my twins i have twin boys that i have a son as well that I, i'm thinking about where i'm gonna get some for him but then uh microphone on fire because music's my life and uh the stitches represent the different pieces of my life he was brave and got his arm hit too oh yeah. that's uh, right uh, the stitches represent the different pieces of my life coming together uh, i got this guy right here which is uh, the chinese symbol for uh boar zodiac the boar uh, which is the year i was born and then um that was done by an artist in colorado at Anchors Away, right? and, then, uh, and then I got the relevant symbol, which was done at, uh, oh, it was at a venue that's closed down since then, called Island Park Saloon, done by a guy named Dreads, he hooked me up, fat with that, I don't think I've ever paid for a single needle though. Um, and then my latest one, my bear, which is my, um, <coughs> my memorial to my mother. I lost my mom when I was two and a half to an overdose of um, heroin, which uh, just brings Nuke and I a little bit closer together. And in the kid blocks, it says her name, Vicky, and her, his, uh, the bear's heart's just shining. You know, it's kind of being my guiding light. And uh, I lost the bear. It was my first thing on you know, my first Christmas after I was born. I had it from that time. So I was 24, I lost it in a movie. It was time so to that re back. represents an actual bear that you have? An actual bear that I have, and it also represents my mom, you know, to me. And this was actually done by Carrie. Yeah. Oh, you did it. Okay. <laughs> nice. So, yeah. That? And yeah. apparently, Carrie's a tattoo artist. Yeah. And um, you also did tattooing, and we'll go into the work that you have on you. Absolutely. Uh, I started tattooing about five years ago. I started working for a shop. Uh, and that was where? In Denver, Colorado. Denver, Colorado. Yeah. Then moved to Mystic Inc. and finished off my apprenticeship there. Um, started tattooing, basically just at home and friends and stuff like that. Um, moved out, got a job, started leaving music behind, and then I just gave up. And say, yeah, I, I just gave up that whole have a job lifestyle and nine to five and just said, you know, I'm going to do music. And so 
six months later, I'm here now, playing guitar every day, loving it. <laughs> um, and so, yeah. Okay, so what, what is the tattoo? Now you did one on yourself. I did. You told me earlier. I did. Check it out. I, I did the, the pentagram and on And how me. you did it on your arm, I don't really understand. I have pictures. <laughs> you have to send us the process, but uh, yeah, I, I had an ex-girlfriend stretch the skin for me while I tattooed around it. So you're apparently right now. Yeah. And, um, yeah, and then my brother did this one for me. Um, it's snake bite because of my nickname's also for him. Um, I also have the 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 food star. Yeah, yeah. food star. Food star. <laughs> <laughs> um, I got this. Uh, me, my dad, and my brother all share this tattoo. It's uh, something I drew when I was like 13. Uh, and, uh, yeah. yeah, and then this was just the cool skull that I liked, so I got a tattoo. So you guys actually have a lot of meaning, I'm just like, yeah. a tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll just leave that back there. Um, it's uh, one of my, my drawings that I had tattooed from the guy I was apprenticing with. Wow, that's cool, Carrie. The first time I really looked at it. Let's show the other one on your uh, shins. Oh yeah. Um, me and him share the same logo for this one. It's for our old band role that we were in together. Old band tattoo? Yeah. yeah. Hey, do you get a I do. It's no longer relevant. Yeah. It's <laughs> oh! It's a cool design though. It is, yeah. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, and then oh. my zombie, yeah. which my zombie sadly has a hole taken out of her uh, due to cancer. Uh, yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Zombie cancer. Zombie. Real zombie yeah. cancer. Oh, yeah. Wow. I like Real that. zombie. Yeah. All right. <laughs> That's All right. Pretty good. You might need to get. Yeah, come on in here. Hey, Noah. <laughs> You're the one that's the shark that's going to bite. Okay. I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> All right, so. What? Come on in. Come, no, 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 no. Come on over here. No, no, no. Anyway, my name's Shark. Well, my real name is Noah. But people call me Shark because I'm obsessed with sharks. I have a shark tooth necklace on. And it's all I ever talk about because it's the world's most advanced killing machine. <laughs> Can I ask you a question right there? Is it shark or is it? The shark. shark. Oh, all right. It's not just shark, bro. It's the shark. Oh, I did not know that. I thought maybe, but so I. You're learning yeah. things about your each other. Okay. I just like shark because they're the closest thing we have to a modern day monster. It's kind of like my power animal. So I have a lot of shark tattoos. This is a zombie shark. It's inspired from a 1970s film called Zombie. It's an Italian horror flick, and uh, in the film, a zombie and a shark meet underwater, and they do battle, and the zombie bites the shark, and then the shark swims off, and leads you to believe that out there, that somewhere there's somewhere there's And what's more scary than a shark? Yeah, a zombie shark. Yeah. This one, oh, this is done by Mike Lego in the New Mexico, Arizona area. This one's done by JP at Ink City in Texas. This is a zombie Jaws. So it's like from the, the Jaws movie poster, which is my favorite movie, obviously. The zombified It's so, a zombified Jaws. So you like turning tricks into zombies? Yeah. I do. And this one, uh, I don't know, some dude named Snyder did it on tour. I forgot his name in this place. Sorry, dude, but gave me this tattoo. And first tattoo I ever got was this panther. A buddy took me to a tattoo shop and said, hey, you can get anything you want on the $50 wall. And I didn't like any of them. I don't want cherries on my leg. <laughs> so I got a panther for Pantera, and then years later I went and got a Cowboys from Hell and then a Pantera logo. Nice. So I just added to it over the years. Beautiful. This is my first shark tattoo I ever got. I like that one. I literally wanted the most generic shark tattoo I could get first, so I Googled shark tattoo, and this is what came up. There you Beautiful. go. I like that. Also, I'd like to say that Lucky Harley did my tat, and uh, Lucky, Jeremiah, Lucky Harley from from Traditional Tattoo in downtown Pismo Beach. Okay. And those guys are so rad over there, and he totally hooked me up. And uh, yeah, he's definitely like a, a really good new boy. So thank you. I've got one more. Oh, oh, oh good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> go there, go there. Um, and you. I drew a tattoo on him for him. Yeah. I tattooed him just now. Bust him out, dude. Bust, Bust him out. out. Show, show us how hardcore yeah. you are. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No! 
Hey, Ozzy has them. Got it. Okay, those are real. I bet we can go make those real in just two seconds. There's a tattoo studio, like, right down the street. Um, so tattoos? Okay, so do you guys have plans to get anything more? I mean, you told me, yeah, I was talking to you about how it's kind of hard to get any ink when you guys are playing because you guys are on stage and body paint. Well, like, there's, you have to plan it and schedule it. As particular as a tour itself, it's gotta be like, all right, Body I'm paint, off. Fresh tattoo. So I got about a week to clean my skin completely clear of any paint that's there. Yeah, you because know, it does stick in your pores no matter how clean you are. It takes a while to get it all out. Then it's like, okay, so we get into the shop here. But wait, wait, when's this tattoo gonna be done? This session because I have to make sure there's a two to three week window before I start putting more paint over this tattoo. Yeah, so. I was gonna get a tattoo right now, but I had to do this. So. <laughs> yeah. Just kidding. You guys are free today, okay? You're gonna body paint yourself. Okay. Well, you have some stuff that we want. Not only that, but like I'm getting like uh, the Sagittarius and Scorpios on the cusp. It switched back and forth, so like I'm getting the Scorpion over here with his tail getting ready to hit the, the dude in the head. He's gonna be looking up like that, stretching the bow towards the Scorpion's head, and it's called the inner struggle for the day. Okay. And I'm getting angel wings. <laughs> Fuck y'all. I'm getting angel wings on my back. Well, I'm glad we cut you angel. Yeah, see? I'm getting angel wings on my back and uh, and they're going to be ripped off halfway down. And that piece is called ball and you're going to be able to see inside. Do you have names for your tattoos? I have names for wow. my tattoos. These are really so, fun. I mean, there's just, there's a lot. I want to get, um, I'm going to put around him a tree. So it's like the family tree. I'm going to do more family stuff over here. like. I've got a compass that I want to get for my grandpa. My grandpa passed away, and he said, "Have to go southwest." He's gonna say, "Girl, he's a fucking jackass." Um, he's not so doing cute. anything right now, he's bro. Laughing. Yeah, I mean, I feel Dude, it. Dude, I'm not doing anything. It's bro. puzzling. Bro. Take the one on one. So then the the roots are gonna spill my other side. They bump the tree, and I'm gonna add things. Yeah, exactly. And now, when are these guys getting tattooed? Well, there's plans of a tattoo right here with this car is. Um, of our band logo. But, we'll see how it's going. Oh man, you got it on film? Now he has to do it. Yeah, here yeah. it is. Uh, uh, the same one. Uh, after, after the tour. Okay. After the tour. Let's see. Oh, uh, you. Yeah. Mine. Mine. I honestly don't know. Do you want tattoos? Or yeah, I oh. don't want something random. Like, I want something You need to have, like, titles for the tattoos. Yeah. Hey, and karate. I want a trance. And karate. You don't have one yet? My <laughs> girlfriend has stamp you dropped. My girlfriend has a <laughs> book. I might be a trance stamp for approval. That's how it is. You can go horribly wrong. Okay. Wrong. 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 Uh, okay. okay, what's your oh, name? Oh, I was just going to say, I've always, since my name is Shark, I wanted to be known for, like, the dude that has the most shark tattoos. But I want to take a yeah. step further. Bye! Woo! Thank you. Thank you I for I want to take it a step tattoos. further, and I want to get a shark tattoo that has a shark tattoo. Ooh. You need a shark? Like, like I, want, I want my sharks to have a yeah. tattoo. Yeah. Of a shark. Of yeah. a shark. <laughs> exactly. Of a shark. He's going to have a shark tattoo. Of a, a shark, shark tattoo. tattoo. What about a, a, a shark tattoo? Of a shark having a tattoo that's another shark. I don't like that idea. Right. I'm just kidding. I, I'm not right. kidding. Right. Hey, if he does a spike an idea, I guess what? Alrighty, well, let's wrap this up. Okay, um, Motor Grader, <laughs> they're back. Woo! What? They're playing shows. They're going to be writing new music new eventually. Music soon. Oh, there's coming soon. Coming soon. Right. Oh. Angel and Nuke love each other again. Kind of. Okay. <laughs> uh, so they can check you out online. It's Facebook. Facebook.com forward slash motivator. Um, and yeah, just follow, like, spread diseases. Hey, we'll Blue, soon be I love you. Bye. 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 Bye.